My name is Justin Harshorn, I'm a student physical therapist. For educational purposes, are you okay with me recording today? Yes. Okay, perfect. So what I want to do with you today is we're going to take some uh, measurements of the knee and see if we can find any impairments. Is that okay with you? Yes. Perfect. So what I want you to do is go ahead and slide your knee all the way up to your, uh, your bottom, bend your knee as far as you can, apply some overpressure here. Is there any pain with that? No. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add some external and internal rotation as well. So I'm going to go ahead and point your foot out for me here. Good. Apply some overpressure. Any pain with that? No. All right, now go ahead and point your toe in for me, in towards your other leg. Get some internal rotation. Any pain with that? No. Perfect. Go ahead and straighten your leg for me. So go ahead and just completely relax. I'm going to apply some pressure here, stabilize just above the knee, pull up for some extension. Any pain with that? No. Perfect. All right, now we'll go ahead and move on to some measurements. So now that motion that you did where you bent your knee as much as you can, we're gonna do that same motion, but allow me to do that motion for you. Okay. Let's see what kind of measurement we get here, all right? Good. All right, we're able to get to 135, which is perfect. Go ahead and straighten for me. All right, now same thing, we're gonna get some extension measurements here. Okay, we we'll get three degrees past the range of motion, so no impairments were found, which is perfect. I'm gonna show you an intervention you can do at home, um, just to help facilitate some more knee extension, all right, to help with that range of motion. So at home, if you have a pillow or roll of a towel, go ahead and place that underneath the heel. And then at home as well, if you have a towel, you're gonna go ahead and loop it around your foot and then bring it up towards your face here. All right, now what I want you to do is you're gonna go ahead and pull your toes up towards your nose here. And then think also about trying to bring the back of your knee into the table. Good, and then of course with gravity as well, and then contraction of the quads is gonna help facilitate more of that extension and help with that range of motion. All right, so each time you do this, I want you to do it for uh, four times. Hold it for 15 seconds each. Take about a five second break in between each rep. All right, do you have any questions for me? No. Perfect.